I want to see this massive reformation and people really just get back to Jesus and in the New Testament community of churches. I hope that people like you, uh, some of my other friends who, who I know are still hanging on to the evangelical label, or maybe not just, you know, calling themselves Christians and trying to forge other ways, uh, will kind of foster a new sense of Christian community. That's my ideal hope. And, and maybe doing this podcast, Veterans of Culture Wars, is a part of that, that I want to see this massive reformation and people really just get back to Jesus and in the New Testament community of churches, taking care of each other, looking out for the marginalized that seem to be so much a part of early Christianity. I mean, growing up, it was it was hammered into me that absolute truth is a thing. Things are black, things are white. There's not a whole lot that that that's gray when it comes to statements of fact. Uh, and the gospel is a message about absolute truth for everyone and 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 all of our lives and 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 uh and the afterlife and all that it is about absolute truth and the 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 biggest well it's hard it's hard to pick the biggest distressing thing about trump but you know one of the main things that that trump has accomplished is making the idea of of truth seem unknowable 